media. Um, first, how did you spend the bye week? What were some of the things that you focused on uh, this past week? Well, we, we uh, the first thing that you want to do is is get a little head start on uh, on Boston College, as far as uh, you know some of the formations and, and run plays and passing that uh, that they do. Uh, we showed uh, showed that to the guys. I came back and, and worked an awful lot on on fundamentals. I think that uh, if you go back and, and look at, at some of the things that, that um, we'd like to have over again, it's not as much the scheme as it as it is maybe uh, teaching fundamentals. So getting uh, getting a little bit better at, at tackling, and uh, you know the angles that we take to the ball, and uh, and defending the pass as far as leverage. So. We uh, try to give the guys a lot of those reps, and uh, and then try to make it so, you know, we, we didn't run them in the ground. We want to get uh, guys back from uh, from injuries and be fresh for uh, for the home stretch. Yeah, coach. When you looked at the the tape from uh, from the Syracuse game, um, you were you know really had a good first half. A lot of challenges in the second half. Uh, you know, they they got the ten play ninety one yard drive. Is that the kind of thing that? Uh, you look at it and say, "Gosh, you know that would, you know there was a play there or two that you might have stopped that that drive." I think everybody that plays against Syracuse says that. You know that uh, I think uh, uh, you know we went into the ball game working a lot on containing the quarterback, and yet a couple of his runs were uh, were explosive, and uh, and you know accounted for uh, almost half of the uh, you know the explosive runs that uh, that their offense got. And yet, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's what he does and he does well. Um, and we, we gave up, uh, you know, a couple of other runs that, that, um, you know, were 10 yards or more. And uh, if you go back and you look, uh, you know, mistakes, just, uh, just, you know, n not reading a, uh, an assignment. Uh, and then the other thing is, is uh, we, we've got uh, some missed tackles that, that we got to get a little bit better at. So in the second half, I thought uh, I thought they did a really good job of of calming the uh, quarterback down and getting him to where he wasn't uh, guessing as much as just uh, just picking somebody and going to it in the passing game, and we probably uh, gave a little bit more cushion than than we would have liked and uh, you know, needed to uh, uh, tighten up our, our defense a little bit. But you know the 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 first half was uh, was was one that that uh, showed us that that we can do it. As long as we're we're hitting on all cylinders and, and doing it right, but uh, but Syracuse is you know was was ranked pretty high offensively for for a reason, and they were able to come back and and execute better than than we were in the second half. And just uh, you know, uh, Austin Hill had a big day, seven tackles. Casey Larkin, who we just talked to, had five. Chris Frey, five tackles, and Jabari Moore had four. You know, it's it must be great to have an experienced cornerback like Jabari Moore. He's got 50 games under his belt now. Yeah, I, I think our corners have, have really stepped up and played well for us this season. I think uh, uh, they've been, been a little bit more aggressive in, in uh, you know, the quick game and and uh, done a great job of, of tackling. They're taking you know, great angles to uh, to the ball carriers. And, uh, you know, they, they, they've been a, a point of pride for us uh, this, this, this uh, you know, start of the season. So we'll uh, – We'll we'll also look at at uh, you know, some older guys that that have have come on and, and had a lot of experience at, at other positions as well, and uh, most of those guys are are, uh, are 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 doing well for us. You know, so when you got some experience on on your defense, then yeah, you know, they've been there before, and and uh, and that helps as far as making plays and and keeping things uh, under control. You know, when uh, uh, when the tempo gets going pretty good. Okay, looking at uh, Boston College, uh, they've got a transfer quarterback, uh, Thomas Castellanos, came in from Central Florida. He's uh, uh, thrown for over uh, 1,000 yards already this year, run for uh, over 350 yards. What do you see in the Boston College quarterback? Explosive. You know, he didn't, uh, he didn't start uh, the season in the first ball game, and, and that uh, he came in, you know, early enough in the ball game to, to give him a lift, but, uh, but he wasn't a starter. And uh, – uh, you know, Boston College has has done a good job of putting some points on the on the board. Usually, they're 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 going to score, you know, in the in the high twenties or or, uh, or low thirties, and uh, and they're playing some some pretty good competition. You know, uh, Florida State is a is a really good uh, defense and good football team, and uh, they gave them everything they could handle. 
And uh, you know, Louisville is 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 one that that sort of got away from them. But uh, but again, you know, Louisville's shown that uh, they're a really good football team this season. And then uh, you know, Virginia is uh, you know, th there's some times where where I've looked at, at Virginia's defense and thought, man, that's uh, you know, that's pretty good stuff. And uh, at times, same thing during uh, during this last ball game. Uh, maybe the consistency is what uh, is what we're all looking for. But uh, but Boston College, you know, relies on their quarterback to uh, uh, to give them explosive plays. And whether it's with his feet or or with his arm, he's been able to do that for him. And um, just when you think you got him hemmed up and and contained, he'll uh, he'll make somebody look silly and get out on the edge and. And he'll do two things. He'll uh, he'll scramble to run and pick up first downs and big chunks of yards, or he can scramble to pass. And uh, you know those are the guys that, that are hardest to to defend. Um, I don't. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure of uh, you know their thoughts as far as his consistency and and uh, you know picking out the the receiver that that uh, they want him to throw to. But uh, but I do know this. He he takes some shots, and uh, they're going to throw the deep ball, and they're going to do it, uh, you know, uh, at at least enough times in the ball game to make you uh, make you play honest. And uh, I I really like it. I think uh, explosive quarterbacks, you know, can can extend plays and and make a, a, an average offense uh, way way better. And they got a big offensive line, uh, Christian uh, Mahoney, uh, six three. 322, and they got a couple of offensive linemen from the transfer portal. Uh, how do they look up front on offense? I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm impressed with their offense. I, I, I like I like the scheme that uh, that they employ, and and, and uh, uh, I like the size. And they, they've gone out and, and recruited uh, at some key positions to, to help themselves. They've got some length at uh, at the uh, tackle position, and and uh, you know I, I like. You know, playing with uh, multiple tight ends, and and I, I like you know uh, offenses that that uh, that have an extra you know offensive tackle in the ball game. They'll play with three tackles, you know, a lot of times. So, uh, you know, what they do from a schematic standpoint is is uh, is I'm I'm impressed with, and then um, and then the quarterback does uh, like I said a, a, a tremendous job of of uh, you know giving you some explosive plays and and getting the ball in the end zone. So uh, whether uh, whether they decide to uh, to run the football on uh, on certain downs and and then and then you know try to get into third and and uh, manageable uh, downs, or whether they take the shots on on uh, first or second down, you know they, they they just do a nice job of it. So I'm I'm anxious to uh, to to get into this ball game and, and see how we do. Very good, Ken. Hey, Nate, Ken McMillan from the Times Herald Record. Hey, Ken. Hey, uh, sticking on the, the quarterback point here, because he's so effective in the run and the pass game, and as you just said, you're trying to get them into manageable situations. You as a defensive coordinator, do you do you gamble or do you say before the game, all right, we're going to try to go this way and then adjust later? What What's your general approach with these run versus pass guys? I think you always want to look at your matchups and and uh, where your matchups uh, you win with. You want to give them the the opportunity to to win uh, those downs with those guys as many times as possible. So if there's uh, if there's some matchups that that we don't like, then um, uh, then you got to do something a little bit different. And, and uh, uh, whether that's a different coverage or whether it's a uh, a different pressure. Then you know that's that's what you go to town with. But uh, but the first thing that you do as a as a uh, as a coach when you're you're preparing for somebody is you want to define um, you know the other team's strengths and then uh, define their weaknesses. And somehow what you've got to do is is uh, match up your strengths and and uh, and you've got to uh, cover up your weaknesses. And how you do it can can vary from uh, from game to game. But uh, uh, if you do the same thing over and over every every game then then uh once it's on film it it makes it just a, a lot harder for uh for your guys so we like to uh like to vary it up a little bit nate how would you uh rate uh, your run defense this year I, I think that uh as we go back and compare the uh uh the explosive runs we're better this year than than we were last year and um you know i think 
I, I'm not sure what we're ranked defensively uh, now versus, uh, you know, this many games into uh, uh, last season. But it feels like uh, we've given ourselves a chance to uh, to be in the games until, you know, this, uh, uh, you know, this, this uh, uh, last one, you know, got, got away from us a little bit in the, uh, you know, third and, and fourth quarter. But, uh, but I think uh, we've made strides defensively. And uh, we still, you know, we're we're not at the top of the of the list defensively, but uh, but that's our that's our goal. So we'll continue to get better as the season goes on. I thought uh, thought we did that last year, but uh, uh, probably this year uh, a lot less explosive runs this season than last year, but but still not as good as as uh, maybe my first two years here. The first two years, I think. Uh, uh, you know, very little explosive runs. And that uh, and that's what we're shooting for. That's what we strive for. By the way, do you have a number on what's an explosive run? Well, just anything that's uh, 10 yards or more. Okay. We, um, we want to count that as an explosive. Yes, sir. Uh, I think I asked you this about a month ago. How about getting pressure on the quarterback? It doesn't have to be a sack, but just make him uncomfortable. What do you think? Do you think you guys are getting enough uh, pressures and hurries? Yeah, you, the, the last thing you wanted to do uh, uh, our last ball game was get that quarterback running. So if if you if you get pressure on the quarterback, you better be able to contain him. And uh, generally, there's there's more gaps than than uh, than defensive linemen on on a pass play. So if you've got uh, if you got four rushers, you you've got uh, two more gaps than than you can handle as far as a quarterback escaping. And if you send a fifth guy, there's still an extra gap that uh, that you got to be able to uh, uh, handle, you know, with uh, with your defenders. So I think when when we want to get pressure, I feel like we've uh, we've done a, a fairly good job of that. Um, we haven't been great at pressure with with four guys, but uh, but when we bring a, an, an extra guy at times, I feel like uh, we're able to get off the field on uh, on our third down packages i think uh, uh if i remember correctly maybe maybe syracuse was three out of uh out of 11 and i felt like we had a good shot at, at uh at those those three that uh, uh that we gave up so um yeah i you just gotta you, you if if all you do is bring pressure then then there's going to be some times where uh, where you give up the easy touchdown. I don't want to give up easy touchdowns, and yet I don't want to sit back there and, and uh, you know make us defend all day long either. So sure. mix and um, match, and the timing in which you do it is uh, is what's important in a ball game. Mm -hmm. um, you've been around the game a long time, Nate. Uh, just give me your typical. Uh, what's the typical response following a bye week? You know, is it uh, is is it a good thing? Is there an issue of rest versus rust? Yeah, absolutely. A bye week is outstanding because uh, you get a little bit of extra time to uh, study your opponent. You get a little bit extra time to study yourself and and go back and, and do a self study to see what uh, what offenses are looking at when uh, when they are preparing for you and uh, <laughs> getting the guys healthy before. Uh, you know, before they get back into the next ball game is is uh, is critical, and you want to keep them as fresh as you can. But uh, but it's a long season, and the the nicks and and the the injuries add up a little bit. So when you get that bye week, uh, give them a chance to uh, you know sort of uh, catch their breath a little bit, and, and uh, hopefully get uh, get well before the next game. Sure, Nate. Last thing, we already had uh, Mr. Larkin and Mr. Latour in here. Can you just get, offer a few words about both of them, and you know? How they're playing this year? Both those guys have great futures here. You know, Jack is uh, Jack Latour is a guy that that uh, has length. Uh, he's strong and he, he's got a great work ethic. He's going to be a really good defensive lineman for us, and he's already started uh, you know taking reps at uh, you know at a pretty good uh, pretty good pace for us. And uh, right now he plays uh, plays behind uh, a, a guy that's been playing for us a long time, Chris Frey, and. Uh, uh, you know, alternates a, a little bit with uh, with Chris and and does a good job. Um, I think he's going to still be a guy that that uh, continues to to improve as the season wears on. And um, uh, it's I'm just I'm just really impressed with uh, with Jack as as far as his work ethic in the uh, weight room and uh, on the football field. 
outstanding ball player for us. And uh, uh, Casey Casey Larkin is is uh, the guy that that, uh, that you look for as far as the safety. He's got great uh, measurables as far as uh, you know uh, his, his explosiveness. You know he can run, he can jump, and uh, and he is a guy that will attack. He will go. Uh, downhill in, in a, in a skinny second and, and get after it. And he's not scared of, of anybody at any time. So when, as he continues to improve as far as understanding leverage in the game and, uh, and the tempo of the game and each play, he'll, uh, he'll continue to, 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 uh, command respect from, uh, from the opponents still, still trying to learn it just a, a little bit here and there, but, uh, but I really, really like his, uh, his upside. He's going to be a, a fantastic football player for, uh, for army. Yeah. I just want to follow up here. I asked, uh, Casey this, um, you guys play a lot of freshmen and sophomores, uh, this year, they're getting good PT. Uh, what does that say about your team? And, you know, giving them the opportunity, especially at a younger age. I think we've got some some really talented young guys. I think uh, I think we want to get them reps because uh, game experience is is uh, is incredibly important in in my opinion in in uh, winning or or losing ball games. I think that uh, that once you've been there, you understand how to win, and and once you you know how to win, uh, you know how to handle situations better. You know the next time around and. Uh, uh, the freshmen for us are are guys that that uh, you know they're they're still they're still learning a little bit, but uh, but they've got a talent that that uh, they got skill sets that that I'm I'm really excited about. So as we continue to uh, to play more and more people, we're able to give a lot of effort on the field and still you know maybe not wear down as much. So we're trying to uh, rotate guys. Uh, the guys with the experience generally make the less mistakes. And the guys with uh, uh, that are that are a little bit younger are making a, a few more mistakes, but uh, but each game, you know, you you get uh, you build up that experience for them. So mm -hmm. we'll continue to do that. Thank you, Nate. Sure. I think we're all.